I was relaxing on the porch of my dream house. All of a sudden a thought strikes me. The idea is that I need to talk to my documents. But how? How does someone talk to documents? Of course, using AI. I ran to my computer to write a program that would help me talk to my documents. After long, long seconds of agony, I decided to use Python Langchain and Llama Index APIs to talk to my documents. Yes, I have an OpenAI account, so I will use that account's API key to talk to my documents. Talking to documents is not like talking to a wall, and it is not like talking to a house. It is neither like talking to a tomato plant. Talking to documents is not free. You need to have the free initial account at least, or after that you need to enter your credit card info. I imported packages I needed. I set the necessary environment variables, one of which is my credit card sucking OpenAI API key. I need to pass the documents I have in the data folder and create chunks of text out of the data because the calls to the GPT model do not like long documents. Then I need to create embeddings for the chunks. I need indexing to keep track of the chunks and the generated embeddings. The embeddings will help me find the most contextually relevant chunks to a prompt. I'm using the Text DaVinci 003 model, which belongs to the GPT-3 model family. I love talking to my documents, but I want to avoid creating these embeddings again and again when I need to talk to the same documents. Why do I not want to create embeddings every time I load the program for the same set of documents? Duh, I do not have plenty of money and creating embeddings for chunks of documents using OpenAI requires money. Therefore, I want to store these embeddings and the chunks of my text in a folder, say a folder named Chunk Storage, so that whenever I need to talk to my documents, I can load the chunks and the embeddings and speak to my documents. I ran the program and I found that the Chunk Storage folder is created. I am a happy man who lost some money in creating the Chunk Storage. Losing some money to OpenAI cannot break me yet because I am motivated and willing to spend some money to, well, to talk to my documents. So far, if you liked the video, then please press the like button. If you do not like this video so far, well, what can I say? Then hit the subscribe button to subscribe. Anyway, back to the story. Still, the question of how will I talk to my documents remained a mystery. I am writing another program that will load the chunks of text and embeddings from the chunk storage. Then the program will help me communicate with OpenAI based on my questions. It will take my question and find the chunks of relevant text to my inquiry. It will then send OpenAI the relevant chunks and my question so that OpenAI can answer my question based on the relevant chunks. OpenAI will charge the account based on the number of tokens in the chunks and questions sent and the answer size. So, I only ask questions if I need an answer. I do not ask questions just to socialize with my documents. I made sure to write the questions and the responses in a text file with a file name containing the timestamp when I started the conversation with my documents. That is it. Running through the two programs again. The first program is to model the texts of the documents using OpenAI's embedding capability. The second program is to enjoy talking to your documents. You run the first program just once to create your chunk storage from your documents. Once your chunk storage is ready, you run the second program whenever you need to talk to the same documents in your data folder. The second program will actually send parts of text to OpenAI relevant to the question or the prompt. OpenAI will provide its educated answer to the question based on the chunks sent to it. For new documents, you need to run the first program again to model your documents in the data folder. What a clever idea! With this idea, you can automate questions answers to help your clients based on an existing knowledge base. An example, I drop a document in the data folder. It is a research paper. I could drop many papers in this folder, but I love keeping my money in my pocket and giving less to OpenAI. So I just dropped one paper in this folder. Documents can be PDF files, text files, etc. After I run the first program, the chunk storage folder is created where I have all the chunks from the paper, corresponding embeddings, and the indexing. Now I run the second program to talk to my document. I ask what is the paper about. It gives a correct answer. How do I know this answer is correct? Because I am one of the authors of this paper. I ask what datasets are used in this paper. The answer is correct. I asked a few more questions. The responses are amazing. Talking to documents is no more a dream. 
I will provide a link containing the code in the description section below. If you like to see more videos like this, write a comment stating more please. If you do not want to see any more videos like this, write a comment stating enough is enough. Either way, I will see you soon. For now, I will go back to my dream house and relax.